goodbye to Springfield. Here's uh, Bunny. Shall I take him down, then? Oh, Jocelyn, thank you. That would be very kind of you. I'll wait here for the bellboy to get the bags, and I'll meet you in the limousine. Okay. Mommy will be right there, darling. You forgot. Buzz the bunny. Buzz the bunny. Oh, Coop, I wish I could have told Buzzy was your father. Ah, uh, oh, great. The bags are all ready to go. Elaine. Jenna. Well, I see you've decided to leave town after all. Um... Well, yes. There's really no reason for me to stay. So? You're walking out on a marriage. I never meant to hurt you, Buzz. Please try to understand that. Oh, no, no, I do. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> well, you've fallen in love with Josh again. It's something that was always there. I thought that I dealt with it, the, the love for Josh. I, I tried to ignore it. Yeah. Tried to call it something else. But it's still there. <laughs> it never went away. I mean, whenever we're in the same room together, when we bump into each other, when we talk to each other on the phone, it's there. It walks around with us. Buzz. It lies down with us at night. And it comes between us, Buzz. It does. Why do I keep thinking? The somewhere Josh is saying those exact words to Annie right now. Well, I'm sorry to hear you going, Jenna. And I know I won't be the only one. Well, Eleni, thank you. That's very kind of you. Uh, as I was saying, there's I've completed my business here. There's really no reason for me to stay. Goodness, I I hope I've remembered everything, you know. Packing is such a nuisance, especially when you make such short trips like I. Jenna, you never told me. Why has your trip to Springfield been so short? Well, so, uh, did you even tell Buzz you're leaving? Oh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Oh, good, so you two have spoken since I saw you last at the firehouse. Um, no. No, no, we haven't spoken since then. But the time that we did get to spend together was very enjoyable. He came by here and we had a nice chat. <laughs> chat? <laughs> Somehow, I can't see the two of you making small talk. I mean, you two have quite a history together. Yes. I must admit, Lainey, it was very good to see him looking so well and so happy with, with Reva. She's quite an incredible woman. I have to say that the moment I met her, I, I... something about her that I liked. And coming back to Springfield's been very good for me. I've enjoyed seeing all the old haunts. Good to get to know the place again. But if the truth be told, I think I was remembering Springfield through a, a rose-colored mist. I think I remembered it to be bigger and more important a stopover in my life than it really was. It's now time to get back to my real life. And what is that, your real life? Well, it's certainly not here in Springfield, Delaney. It's not for me. I don't believe that. Any more than you do. Come on, Jenna. You can't just let go of everything here. It, well, I saw your face when I saw you wandering around the firehouse. I saw the look on your face when I found you wandering around the firehouse. The place is deserted now, but there was a time when it was full of life. The life you and Buzz shared together. Yes, Eleni, I have so many fond memories. When I used to be here, yes. Jenna, they're more than memories. I can see it in your eyes. You and Buzz started to build a future here. You even went into business. And that was one of your favorite times, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I admit that I wasn't your number one fan back then. That's a big understatement. Well, you tricked me. <laughs> You stole my grandmother's recipe for that lotion you wanted to make, and you stood to make a fortune off cheating me. Yeah. 
Well, poetic justice did prevail, didn't it? Because Buzz and I went belly up before we sold the very first bottle, and as I remember, you and Frank couldn't have been happier. It sent Buzz right back into Nadine's arms. Yeah, okay. Frank was rooting for his mother back then, but can you blame him? I mean, all kids want their parents to be together. You're right, yes, I suppose they do. And we, we wanted Nadine and Buzz to have a chance. They have a history, too. They have children together. And that's very bonding. I, I know since I had Marina, I understand what that means. When you become a mother, Jenna, your priorities change. Indeed they do. But Nadine is gone now. And Buzz is married to another woman. Which is just as well, isn't it, considering how your family have felt and still feel about me? Well, I admit, Frank and Lucy and I, we had our reservations about you, yes. But through all that, we could see how much you care about Buzz. And how right you two are for each other. Josh has decided to stay with Annie. Oh, well, how noble. Until after the baby's born. She's gonna be interesting for Annie, isn't it? Living with a man she knows is gonna leave her when the baby's born. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Josh has decided that he doesn't want to say that to Annie. Not, not now. Does he seriously think the wife he's living with isn't going to know he's not in love with her anymore? I mean, I mean, it's not going to work. I should know. Whatever Josh and Annie decide to do has nothing to do with us. Let me, let me ask you this. I mean, why now? I mean, why spill the beans tonight? Why not last night or last week or last fall? I just felt like I was keeping things from you. I mean, they were little things at first, but now they've just gotten to be bigger. Like what? Excuses. To be around Josh. I was coming up with some reasons that seemed pretty legitimate. Oh, I'll give it to you. They seem legitimate. Well, they were. I mean, they are. When you have children, it's a commitment that doesn't just go away. I know that. I mean, we share two children together. I know, Buzz. I know. We got married in the first place to protect Shane and Mara. I know. And I was wrong, Buzz. I was wrong. I never should have gotten you involved with this. So what? So what do you say? You shouldn't have asked me to marry you? I just finally realized that I've taken up too much of your life now. And I want to give it back to you because I care too much about you to hurt you anymore. Let me ask you this. This life we've been living, did I make it up? Did I, was it a dream and only I'm having it? I know what you're thinking. Oh, really? Good. Fine. I Tell me and tell me what it is. Because all these thoughts are going through my head and I can't grab on to one of them. I understand how you Oh, don't you. give me that. Listen to me. Josh has no idea that I'm saying these things to you now. And I didn't plan this. I just can't live like this anymore. I can't live in this life because I do care about you. You're a decent and loving man and I can't treat you. What that about the love you said you had for me? What happened to that? Or did I make that up too? I did love you. I do love you. I loved you the way I knew how, the best way I could. But I just can't go on like this because I know the kind of man you are. I can't do this to you. You're a good man. Oh, stop saying that. You don't know what kind of man I am. You don't have any idea. You say you know me? You know, I find that kind of amusing. Because here I am staring into your eyes. And, you know, the eyes I've stared into day in, day out. And I find it hard to believe that I ever knew you. I never could have lived with you all those months, Buzz. I never could have cared about you the way I did if I didn't know the kind of man you are. You're kind and you're generous. You think by saying I'm a good guy it makes everything all right? I, that's ironic. I mean, what if I turn out to be a jerk? I mean, how would you be handling this then, huh? Sorry. No, wait a second. No, damn it, you're right. I knew what I was getting into with this marriage. You told me. No regrets. No promises. You made it real clear, baby. It was for the kids. To convince Josh that you didn't love him anymore. So he'd go on and live a happy life with Annie. 
Lara and Shane thought I was dead, and they looked to Annie as if she was their mother. Yeah, you thought it was the right person, right? Five, five, five. But then things changed, you see. They changed. Because you changed the rules. You came to me. You came to my bed. And I wanted you. But I said no, unless... I wanted you too. Yes! No making love unless it was a real marriage. So we lived together, we worked together, we fought together, we made up together. We were real good at that. Between all the fighting, living together, everything you said, things changed. It did. You said we had a real marriage. Something worth fighting for. Because it was. And I believed you! So now I'm sorry doesn't cut it! I tried to make it work, Buzz. I really did. I tried oh, so yeah, hard but your feelings work. for Josh got in the way. It's just, it doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's past that. Age. Oh, come on. You keep saying that. No, it's true. I did. I did. A lot of guys in this situation would think it was their fault, that they were so dense, they just didn't see the writing on the wall. But I am not one of them, lady. Everybody told me you and Josh had such a great love. I mean, it was like uh, a force of nature. They said, Frank said, Elaine said, Lucy said, hell, even Alan Michael said, stay away from it. Those two are just a force of nature. I mean, it's like gravity. You can't oh, defy I it. I told you, Buzz, that this is not about me and Josh getting back together again. He's staying with Annie. You want to stop the lies? You start with that one. Please try to understand. This is so hard. On... I'm trying, Reva. I'm trying, but there's a cheek in your armor, and I can see it. What do you mean? You say you don't want any more lies. I'm telling you, it's too damn late. You asked for unconditional love from me, and you got it. I know, it. You said I was unlike any other man in your life. I never judged you. I never questioned you. And I bought the whole thing, and now it's coming back to haunt me. I mean, wow, am I stupid. Please don't say that, Buzz. You're right. I'm not stupid. I knew something was up. But every time... Every time I asked you about it, you were so damned reassuring. I mean, I gave you opportunities all the way down the line, and you didn't take them because you were scared. You're right. You're absolutely right. Don't tell me. Don't diminish this by telling me I'm right. Let's not kid ourselves. I have too much respect for you to live this lie. Okay. So, well, the jig's up now. There's no reason to lie anymore. Are you telling me that Josh doesn't know you're here right now, walking out of our marriage. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be shocked. I think he's going to be happy. I mean, he's got a messy situation with Annie there, you know, where they're carrying a baby. His baby. But you'll find a way to handle that. You always do. Congratulations. You've gotten what you always wanted. I really believe that you should stay in Springfield long enough to make sure you and Buzz don't have anything more to say to one another. There is nothing more that we can say to one another at this point, Eleni. I really must be going. Sure. Thank you. Just in time. These bags will all be going downstairs. There's a limo waiting. Thank you very much. I'll be taking this one with me. Hi, lady. If I don't leave now, I'm going to leave. I'm going to miss my flight, so please, if you would say goodbye to Boss. Jenna, please. Just goodbye, Eleni.
see you. Dahlia could use some help out there with the dinner rush. I need to talk to you. <clears throat> sure, what's up? Guys, what's wrong? I have to go away for a while. When? Now. Now isn't tonight? Yeah. Now? Okay. Well, you're going on a little vacation. You, you could use it. I. Is you and Reva are going? No, no, Reva's not going. Reva's not going away with you. What's wrong? I, can you? What happened? Can what's you wrong? take care of the diner while I'm gone? Yeah, sure. I, I'll hold down the floor. Right. I knew I could count. Wait, Buzz. Wait. I, no, I really. I gotta go. No. Wait. No. Come on. You haven't even told me where you're going. I'll call you and Frank when I get wherever it is, okay? No, it's not. If, if Reva's done something... She hasn't done anything. It's me. I've been, you know, walking in the fog. I have to get my head on straight. Buzz, wait. Come on. Come I'm, inside. i got to get talk. to the airport. The airport? Buzz! Flight 665, making a connecting flight to O'Hare. Yes, and can you make sure that those bags go all the way to Heathrow, please? Mm -hmm. Straight through to Heathrow, I'd appreciate it. Yes, darling, we're almost there. Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, all right. Attention, please. Flight 665 will be delayed. Oh. Again, the shuttle to O'Hare International will be delayed. Oh, I'm rushing. said was that the flight was delayed, but it didn't say anything else. Now, I have a connecting flight to Heathrow, and could you at least tell me whether I'm going to make it or not? I'm sorry, but no information means you'll know as soon as we do. Yes, I heard you say that to three other people in front of me, but don't you see I have a particular situation? I'm traveling with a very young child. I'm sorry. Well, thank you so much for your help. You've been so kind. Somebody's diaper needs changing. Oh, Justin, I wish my life were that simple. Oh, darling, just looking at you. Wouldn't you see over there? Oh, oh. I'll take him to the changing room. Coop, Coop needs changing. All right, well, thank you very much. No, do you have your ticket? I, I don't think we'll get separated, but if we do, I'll meet you on the plane. And don't mention B-U-Z-Z -Z about the B-U-N-N-Y because I put it in the luggage and I don't think we're going to have it for the flight. I don't want him to miss it. Right. Okay. I Go off for Jocelyn. I'll be right there, sweetheart. Another feeling, I just got dumped myself. You lost a passenger. Thanks. I want to make sure these bags get where they're going. The lady tipped me pretty good. Hi. I want the next flight out of here. Destination? I don't care where it is, just so it's far away. Um, California far enough? How about Houston? Uh, Fort Worth? Uh, these are all direct flights. I don't mind changing planes. What are my choices? Okay, shuttle to O'Hare connects to half a dozen international flights. Uh, well, uh, try this one. Then. I mean cards maxed out. I, I three credit cards to get to Tahiti. Just, just, these prices had better be utopia. <laughs> well, they don't call it paradise for nothing. I just came back from Eden. The snake beat me there. Let's see. Two South Pacific round trip. Palm trees. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Flight 665, the shuttle to O'Hare International, is now boarding. People traveling with small children, please board first. Thank you.
Jenna? Stay for a while. There's nothing here for me. Well, old friends, you got a bunch of them. Not so many, not anymore. What's with you? With the bag, are you going somewhere? Uh, yeah, I need to get away for a while. Are you expecting someone? Yes, Reva. Isn't she with you inside? Oh, no. She's, uh... She's not coming along on this trip with me. Oh. It's a long story. I see. That I won't bore you with. Oh, believe me, it wouldn't bore me. Because there's something wrong, I can see it. Oh, don't worry about me. Is it about Reva? No, it's, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's about me. What about you? That's what I'm going to find out. I did. I've been, I've been all over the place lately. Must you always be so circumspect? I'm not right enough to be circumspect. I'm confused. You know? Yes, I know. It's what we used to call not having your act together. And I don't. If there was anyone I ever knew who had his act together, it was you. That was then. I, I... Things haven't been right with me since... Uh... Since you left. So where are you off to? I, uh... Something wrong? Change the subject. Or is yours a secret? What? Your destination. I don't know. I... You don't know. I, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I, you know, just gonna hop on a plane. The destination doesn't matter, you know. Seriously, I do know you. I'm just getting restless again. No, I don't think that's it. I can tell. Chicago? Uh, yes, en route to London. It's leaving in a few minutes. Thank you.
Well, you better get on board. Yes. Well. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Two ships in the night. Uh, Busman? You, uh, Sorry, what? We gotta stop doing this in the airport. Right. It feels so good. It feels so good to see you, you know? You too. Like that? I mean, no, never mind. Just don't change your mind. Um, I won't change my mind if you're staying. No, too. not now, please. I mean, just I, I'm not going anywhere. Good. Well, there's so much that was unsaid two years ago. We need time to just. Hurry! Oh, I took so long in the bathroom. I... Are you ready? You know these people? Bless you. Yes. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. My name is uh, Buzz Cooper. What's yours? You are a seasoned traveler. You got your passport, I bet. You got your ticket. You got your nose. What a handsome little guy this is. What a handsome little guy this is. Hey, my name is Buzz Cooper. I told you that. What's your name? Say hello to the nice gentleman. Gentleman? They call me a gentleman. Was last time anybody called me? No one ever called me a gentleman. Oh, Buzz, I'd like to introduce you to Mrs. Von Beskoff. Well, how do you do? How do you do? Hello. I, I, I'm terribly sorry to have to say this because I, I know it's going to be terribly disappointing for you, but I'm afraid I'm... Well, I'm going to have to quit. Quit? Quit? <laughs> yes. I... You... You work for this lady? Well, yes, I, I do. I'm... I'm the boy's nanny. I'm so terribly embarrassed, Mrs. Von Beskoff, and I know that quitting without prior notice is very inconvenient and very annoying, but I'm afraid I, I must. Must? Yes. Buzz, would you mind giving Mrs. Von Beskoff and I a little time now so I could explain to her I'm what's I, happened? I just thought you were doing so well. I mean, you were staying at the Regency, you got those Well, I didn't got... want to tell you I was a nanny. I mean, you of all people should understand pride. <laughs> just surprise, that's all. Well, would, would you mind if, if I spoke to my employee? No. On my own? Yes. Just go along with me, Justin. Go along with me. Oh, oh what? I don't Please, understand. please, just do as I say. I need you to take Coop and get on this plane and go to Chicago. Right. I can't possibly You do must, you must do this for me. You. Don't worry about me. All right, just do as I say. I always do, Miss Bradshaw. I'm your, you're my boss. And frown. What? Just, just do it. Do as I say. Grimace. Look, look disappointed. Eliza, please, Ken, please, you must do this for me, Justin. Look, Buzz, he's Coop's daddy, but he doesn't know it, and I haven't had a chance to tell him yet. Miss Bradshaw, do you understand? This grim enough. Shake your head. That's it. That's good. Well, if you're here for me first thing in the morning, I promise. Darling, darling, listen to Mummy. Listen to Mummy. I want you to go with Jocelyn. I want you to get on this big plane. And I want you to fly to Chicago where you'll see bright lights. And I want you to remember, darling, listen to me. I want you to remember how much Mummy loves you. Darling, give me a hug.
this stuff? You want to you talk about it? Or, um, are you too upset? Oh, it's just Henry, that little boy. He's, he's so precious. Henry. Name for a little guy. Yeah. One of your favorites, though, I bet. Yeah. Henry Chamberlain, oh. I miss him. That's probably why I was drawn to the little boy. And, but you know, his mother uses a nickname anyway, so... Oh, it's too bad. I like Henry's. Good they to grow into. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he will. Oh, sorry. I, I was so emotionally attached to this little boy. I, I mean, I was. I had no idea it would be so difficult to say goodbye. Oh, he's a sweet kid. Yeah. He's a puppet. You're a nanny to some rich dame. I wouldn't have believed it. I, did, I would have thought that if I ever saw you again, it would be with your own entourage. Oh, I wish. Well. Oh, Buzz, that's what I wanted everybody to think. Henry did leave me uh, some money when he died. But... You lost it? You lost it? Santa. Well, I don't have much, but, you know, if you need something to tide you over. Oh, Buzz, that's very kind of you. No, please. I'm okay. Sometimes. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm really fine. It's not a problem. Uh, truth be told, I was down to my last nickel, but... Well, then a friend introduced me to Mrs. Von Beskoff, and... Well, things just went from there. You, you sort of sang a spoonful of sugar and she just, you know, hired you on the spot. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> well, you know, I hate to tell you this, but I don't think you're really cut out to be an Annie. You might have liked the kid, but I, you just never were the maternal type, you know. No. No, probably right. <laughs> So what are you going to do for money? Oh. Oh, fine. I've been very frugal the last couple of months, and I've put my pennies aside. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Me too. As soon as I get as far away from this place as I can. I don't know why you're traveling without Reva. What? Didn't I say I was going to get you some coffee? Is there, there's got to be a coffee uh, shop around here. Wait wait, 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 wait a minute. Out what? there, you told me you needed some time away to be by yourself. Um, mm -hmm. What's up with you and Reva? Well, she's dealing with her own problems right now, so, you know. So, what does that mean? What, you're not together? I, not exactly, no. What happened? It's no big deal. No big no. deal? It's going to be fine. I'm fine. You're a lousy liar. Oh. Why don't you tell me the real story? It's a short story. Our marriage is over. Hey, wait, wait a minute. I just saw the two yeah. of you together at the diner. You were very happy together. Yeah. The smoke and mirrors. No! You were laughing with the children, telling jokes. Yeah. You were smoke all... and... It couldn't have been. It looks so real. And mirrors. Buzz. When you came over to the Regency, you told me that you'd finally found the right woman. Well, I made a mistake. Oh, Buzz. Wow. She was dealing with personal problems when I met her. You know what I mean? I should have known better. How many times have I said that in my life? <laughs> Probably as many as I have. Why don't you tell me why you married her? I met her a few months after Nadine was murdered. I piece of it. He took away Harley and Frank's mother. He took away the only real mother Lucy's ever known. He took away the finest person maybe that I've ever met. I know how much you loved him. It wasn't what you and I had, but yeah, I loved her. 
And then Reva showed up and, you know, <laughs> it was like fate. It was like God sent me this person to heal me. And she needed me as much as I needed her, I thought. And I'd blown it with you and I'd blown it with Dini and I... I thought this one's for keeps. Just a fool for love, I guess. That's not such a bad thing to be. Well, you know, when it works out, when it doesn't, <laughs> you know what that is. Oh. Yeah. Is she going back to Josh? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Fast as her legs can take her. She loves him. She never lied to me about that. I just, I thought I could make her forget. Hell, I thought I did. Well, you did always have a rather large ego. It's just Josh. Oh, hanging around all the time. I mean, first it was the kids, then it was her mother dying. He was always around. And all the time, pretending to be my friend. <laughs> just, that piece of what do you do? lied through his teeth. I'm. He may have the girl, but nobody spits in my face. Listen, I gotta have the last word about something. And it's not gonna be on me. No, 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 Buzz, where are you going? Honey, trust me. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, no, no, no. No, you wait right here. You know, you're not going anywhere without me. You're not gonna say anything. You're not gonna do anything without me. 